The next initiative is the free and open source software for education, which is FOSI. FOSI project promotes the use of free and open source softwares and tools to improve the quality of education in our country. It aims to reduce dependency on proprietary softwares in educational institutions. It encourages the use of FOSS tools through various activities to ensure commercial software is replaced by equivalent FOSS tools. It also develops new FOSS tools and upgrade existing tools to meet the requirements in academia and in research. The FOSSI project is a part of the national mission on education through communication technology. Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. The next initiative is E Shodh Sindhu. The main objective of E Shodh Sindhu is the consortia for higher education. E resource is to provide access to qualitative electronic resources including full text, bibliographic and factual database to academic institutions at a lower rates of subscription. More than 15,000 international electronic journals and e-books are made available to all the higher educational institutions through the Eid Shodh Sindhu initiative. This allows access to the best education resources in the world using digital mode. The Inflivnet Gandhinagar Gujarat is implementing this scheme. The next initiative of MHRD for higher education is the virtual labs. Virtual Labs project is an initiative of the MHRD under NMEICT. This project is a consortium activity of 12 participating institutes headed by IIT Delhi. It is a paradigm shift in ICT based education. For the first time such an initiative has been taken up in remote experimentation. Under Virtual Lab projects, over 100 virtual labs consisting of approximately 700 web-enabled experiments are being designed for remote operation and viewing. The intended beneficiaries of the project are all students and faculty members of science and engineering colleges who do not have access to good facilities and good labs are the instruments. High school students whose Inquisitiveness will be triggered possibly motivating them to take up higher studies. Researchers in different institutes who can collaborate and share their resources. Different engineering colleges who can benefit from the content and related teaching resources. Virtual labs do not require any additional infrastructural setup for conducting experiment at user premises. The simulations based on experiments can be accessed remotely by internet from anywhere. The next initiative is the eJantra project. Project eJantra is an initiative to spread education in embedded systems and robotics. It is started by IIT Bombay sponsored by MHRD under NMEICT project. The objective is to provide hands-on learning to engineering students who have limited access to labs and mentors. The goal is to create the next generation that is embed system engineers in India with a practical outlook to take on challenging problems and provide solutions. The next initiative is the campus connectivity. Establishment of 1 Gbps connectivity to university and many colleges has been provided under this project and this project is also belongs to NMEICT. A total of 600 universities has been connected through 1 Gbps optical fibers. Many colleges have been connected so far with 10 Mbps bandwidth. On the lines of digital India initiatives of the PMO, the MHRD has now decided that the campuses of universities having 1 Gbps bandwidth shall be made Wi-Fi enabled campus. Already all the IITs, IIMs and NITs have established Wi-Fi campuses. The process of laying the optical fibers and provision of the Wi-Fi in central universities is currently underway and some of the universities has also been connected. 
the next initiative is ask a question ask a question is a unique platform through which students from science and engineering colleges all across the country can ask a question to the faculty from the iit students can ask questions either through an online forum or during an interactive live session the next initiative is the e acharya e acharya portal to host all e content project developed and funded under nmi ict there are more than 70 projects on e content under nmi ict which are developed are being developed in various subject disciplines includes science arts engineering social sciences etc through various institutes universities and colleges e acharya is also called integrated e content portal of nmi ict is the official repository of nmi ict e content and all content produced under nmi ict is being put at this repository platform and it is maintained by inflipnet center gandhi nagar so to apply basic tenets of preservation for digital content implement standard metadata schema of different types of the digital content and ensure their long term availability the next initiative is the e kalpa another mhrd nmi city initiative creating digital learning environment for design in india has successfully demonstrated the achievement of the following project objectives on completion of its phase 1 that is the first one is the digital online content for learning design with e learning programs on design second digital design resources database including the craft sector third social networking for higher learning with collaborative learning space for design fourth design inputs for products of national mission in education through ICT the next initiative is the e vidwan e vidwan is the premier database of profiles of scientists and researchers and other faculty members working in leading academic institutions and other research and development organizations involved in teaching and research in india it provides important information about experts background contact address experience scholarly publications skill and accomplishment researchers identity etc the database developed and maintained by inflipnet with financial support from nmi ict the database would be instrumental in selection of panels of experts for various committees task force established by the ministries or government establishments for monitoring and evaluation process the next initiative is the badal as the name suggested badal is a cloud orchestration and virtualization management software initiated by mhrd under nmi ict scheme and develop and maintained by iit delhi it ensures optimum utilization of the infrastructure and speeds up the development and deployment of e government applications for academic needs it is hosted in nic data center some of the main features of vadal are it is dynamic resource scheduling and power management an integrated workflow system for request and commissioning of virtual machines facilities for suspend resume shutdown power off power on and specifying resources requirement for virtual machines dynamic resource utilization monitoring under this project the government and semi government institutes to accommodate their infrastructure needs without taking care of management issues as badal is an open source project it helps to initiate the set of different private clouds 